John Fitzgerald Kennedy is dead, but John Fitzgerald Kennedy lives on. Here in this memorial album are his words, words penned and spoken by him, the words of a man who looked at the tremendous task before him and said, I do not shrink from this responsibility, I welcome it. And now, here is the voice, John F. Kennedy. It would be a mistake for others to look upon Berlin because of its location as a tempting target. The United States is there. The United Kingdom and France are there. The Pledge of NATO is there. And the people of Berlin are there. It is as secure in that sense as the rest of us. For we cannot separate its safety from our own. The solemn vow we each of us gave to West Berlin in time of peace will not be broken in time of danger. If we do not meet our commitments to Berlin, where will we later stand? If we are not true to our world there, all that we have achieved in collective security which relies on these words will mean nothing. And if there is one path above all others to war, it is the path of weakness and disunity. We seek peace, but we shall not surrender. That is the central meaning of this crisis and the meaning of this government policy. With your help and the help of other free men, this crisis can be surmounted. Here are excerpts from the last public speeches made by President Kennedy, only two hours before a bullet fired from a mail-order gun silenced him forever. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man.